This discussion is crucial. Let's talk about the concept of an inner body. Imagine if a fish could think like a human and ask, what is water? It's so important for the fish's life that it has become so familiar that it doesn't even notice it. Now, understanding the inner body is key to exploring the realm of being. However, before delving into that, let's not get stuck on words alone. The word honey is not the same as tasting honey. You can talk about honey all day, but until you've tasted it, the word doesn't capture its essence. Similarly, talking endlessly about God doesn't mean you truly understand or have glimpsed the reality it represents. It could just be an obsessive attachment to a concept, a mental idol. On the flip side, if you strongly dislike the word God, it's a negative form of attachment, and you might be rejecting not just the word but also the reality it signifies. Likewise, let's explore the deeper meanings of the inner body. Now, close your eyes. Shift your focus to your body. Feel it from the inside. Is it alive? Can you sense life in your hands, arms, legs, feet, abdomen, and chest? Tune in to the subtle energy that fills your entire body, bringing vitality to every organ and cell. Can you feel this energy as a unified field throughout your body? Concentrate on your inner body's sensation for a moment. Avoid overthinking, just feel it. The sensation of your inner body is shapeless, boundless, and beyond understanding. You can delve deeper into it at any time. If you're not sensing much right now, focus on whatever you can feel. Maybe there's a slight tingling in your hands or feet, that's sufficient for now. Keep your attention on the feeling, and even as you glance around the room, maintain a connection with the inner energy field of your body. The inner body serves as the bridge between your physical identity and your essential identity, your true self. Always stay connected with it. The beginning. All the basic functions of the body, pleasure, pain, breathing, eating, drinking, defecating, sleeping, the instinct to find a mate and procreate, as well as birth and death, are shared with animals. This realization troubled Adam and Eve. When they saw their nakedness, fear arose, and they quickly denied their animal nature unconsciously. Shame and taboos emerged, especially around certain body parts and functions, particularly sexuality. At that time, their consciousness wasn't strong enough to embrace their animal side or find joy in it, let alone explore it deeply to discover the divine essence within the apparent illusion. As religions emerged, the disconnection from the body intensified, with the belief that, you are not your body. Throughout history, many in the East and West attempted to seek God, salvation, or enlightenment through rejecting the body, denying sense pleasures, abstaining from sexuality, fasting, and engaging in ascetic practices. Some sought to escape the body through trance or out-of-body experiences, but ultimately, no one has attained enlightenment through such means. While these experiences may offer a glimpse of liberation from the material form, the true transformational work occurs within the body. Genuine spiritual masters have never advocated fighting or abandoning the body. Of course, the physical body, subject to disease, aging, and death, is not your ultimate reality. However, do not reject the body, for within this symbol of impermanence and limitation lies the splendor of your essential and immortal reality. Avoid the battle against the body, as it means resisting your own truth. You are your body, and what you see and touch is merely a thin illusory veil. Beneath it lies the inner body, the gateway to being, to life and manifested. Through the inner body, you are eternally connected to the unmanifested one life, birthless, deathless, and ever-present. Through the inner body, you are forever united with God. The key is to stay constantly connected with your inner body, is to, feeling it at all times. This practice can quickly enhance and transform your life. By keeping your attention within the body as much as possible, you anchor yourself in the present moment. This prevents you from getting lost in the external world or becoming entangled in your thoughts. While you remain aware of your surroundings and engage in activities, some mental commentary may still occur. However, it's not necessary for this commentary to consume all your attention. Try to maintain a connection with your inner body simultaneously. Keep a portion of your attention focused within, rather than letting it all flow outward. Feel your entire body from within, as if you were listening or reading with your entire being. Make this a practice for every day. 
Even in mundane situations like traffic jams and lineups, this art of inner body awareness can make them surprisingly enjoyable. This practice can evolve into a whole new way of living, a state of permanent connectedness with being. The ingrained script in your mind, learned long ago, tends to dictate your thinking and behavior. While you may experience brief intervals of freedom from it, especially when things go wrong or during moments of loss or upset, the conditioned mental-emotional reaction often resurfaces. In such challenging moments, make it a habit to immediately go within and focus on the inner energy field of your body. This process need not take long, just a few seconds, but it must be done promptly when the challenge arises. Delaying the response allows conditioned reactions to take over. Focusing within helps you become still and present, withdrawing consciousness from the mind. If a response is needed, it will arise from this deeper level. Just as the sun is infinitely brighter than a candle flame, there is infinitely more intelligence in being than in your mind. Remaining in conscious contact with your inner body is like being a deeply rooted tree or a building with a solid foundation. Before you delve into your inner body, remember to forgive. Paying attention doesn't mean starting to think about the emotion. Instead, observe the emotion, fully feel it, and acknowledge and accept it as it is. Some emotions like anger, fear, and grief are easily identifiable, while others may be harder to label, vague feelings of unease, heaviness, or constriction, somewhere between an emotion and a physical sensation. Focus your attention on feeling the emotion and check if your mind is holding on to a grievance pattern, such as blame, self-pity, or resentment, which is fueling the emotion. If so, it indicates a lack of forgiveness. Non-forgiveness may be directed towards another person, yourself, or any situation, past, present, or future, that your mind refuses to accept. Non-forgiveness can even extend to the future, reflecting the mind's resistance to accept uncertainty and the fact that the future is ultimately beyond its control. Forgiveness involves letting go of grievances, releasing grief. It occurs naturally when you realize that holding on to grievances serves no purpose other than reinforcing a false sense of self. Forgiveness is allowing life to flow through you without resistance. The alternatives are pain, suffering, a constrained flow of life energy, and, in many cases, physical disease. Understanding the connection between presence and the inner body involves recognizing that presence is pure consciousness reclaimed from the mind and the world of form. The inner body serves as your connection to the unmanifested, and at its deepest level, it is the unmanifested itself, the source from which consciousness emerges, akin to how light radiates from the sun. Being aware of the inner body is akin to consciousness recalling its origin and coming back to the source. You can consider it a form of meditation, but it's essential not to get caught up in the specific definitions of words. Instead, try to grasp the deeper meaning. Meanwhile, being aware of the inner body brings about other physical benefits. One significant advantage is a noticeable slowdown in the aging process of the physical body. If you begin this practice at 20, the energy field of your inner body will feel the same at 80. Inhabiting the inner body can result in the outer body aging at a much slower pace, and even as it does age, your timeless essence will radiate through the external form. Another benefit is a substantial boost to the immune system. The more consciousness you bring into the body, the stronger the immune system becomes. Many illnesses tend to sneak in when you are not fully present in your body. It's like having an absent master in the house, allowing all sorts of undesirable characters to take up residence. This strengthening doesn't only apply to your physical immune system but also extends to your psychic immune system. The latter safeguards you from the negative mental and emotional influences of others, which can be highly contagious. Inhabiting the body serves as a form of protection, not by creating a shield, but by fostering resilience. Practice this simple yet potent self-healing meditation, which is effective at the first signs of symptoms and even with established illnesses. Find a few minutes, especially before sleep or upon waking in the morning, to immerse your body in consciousness. Close your eyes, lie flat on your back, and choose different body parts to focus on briefly, hands, feet, arms, legs, abdomen, chest, head, and so on. Feel the life energy within each part intensely for about 15 seconds. Then let your attention move through the body like a wave, from feet to head and back. This process takes only a minute or so. Afterward, sense the inner body as a whole, a unified field of energy. Hold
hold on to that feeling for a few minutes. Be intensely present during this time, fully aware in every cell of your body. If your mind occasionally pulls your attention away, lost in thought, simply notice it and bring your focus back to the inner body. If connecting with your inner body feels challenging, start by focusing on your breath. Conscious breathing, a powerful meditation on its own, can gradually bring you into contact with your body. Pay attention to your breath as it moves in and out. Breathe into your body, sensing your abdomen expanding and contracting with each inhalation and exhalation. If visualization comes naturally to you, close your eyes and imagine yourself surrounded by light or immersed in a luminous substance, a sea of consciousness. Inhale that light, feel it filling your body and making it luminous. Then shift your focus more towards the sensation. Now, you are present in your body. Avoid getting attached to any visual image. When you need to engage your mind for a specific purpose, combine it with your inner body. Creativity flourishes when you can be conscious without constant thought, and the simplest way to access this state is through your body. If you require an answer, solution, or creative idea, pause your thinking momentarily and direct your attention to your inner energy field. Tune into the stillness. When you resume thinking, it will be refreshed and inventive. During any mental activity, develop a practice of alternating every few minutes between thinking and a form of inner listening, a quiet, inner stillness. Think not only with your head but with your entire body. In conclusion, exploring the concept of the inner body is a profound journey that transcends words and leads to a state of permanent connectedness with one's being. This exploration delves into the depths of consciousness, bridging the physical and the essential, and holds the key to transformative self-healing and enhanced well-being. By staying attuned to the inner body and integrating it into various aspects of life, individuals can tap into a source of timeless wisdom, creativity, and resilience, fostering a harmonious connection between mind, body, and spirit.